Hello everyone, Dr. Chris Martinson of Peak Prosperity here at my secret undisclosed location. I'm here with Evie and uh, we're having a, a fantastic time. Just taking a couple of days for ourselves, but I wanna let you know about this video that uh, we're about to run at my website. I just was interviewed by David Gronoski. It was a wonderful interview. This guy was prepared, he was thoughtful. He asked me questions about science papers. He brought data and we, re we had a good long conversation about the kinds of things you can imagine that I like to talk about and uh, he'd never been censored before and put it up on the YT and uh, it was taken down instantly. So we got into territory that uh, of course, you know, went into some data and that's the world that we live in right now. So we live in this world of overt censorship. So we can't run that video for you here. We went through it all. It's just, it's wonderful. It's a really thoughtful interview. Very happy with how it came out. Again, David Gronoski is a, just a great interviewer, very well prepared. And so what we're doing is we're gonna be running this video in its entirety back at Peak Prosperity where of course we can control it not being censored. So if you wanna click this link right here, that will take you over to my site or just track over to peakprosperity.com. It's in two parts. One part is out in public, anybody can watch that. And then there's the parts that we think might've got us in trouble and we put that behind the paywall for subscribers. Cause again, there's things we just, I am not big enough to talk about out in public. I'm no Joe Rogan. Uh, I'm no Bill Maher. I can't, uh, I'm, I'm not a John Stewart yet, or maybe I never will be, but I can't talk about the things that they can yet. Cause that's the world we live in. And, and for better or worse, that's, that's what we have to do. Now, the thing that's getting me really, really concerned these days are the number of private emails I'm getting from you, my listeners, who are telling me about things, about various harms that have befallen friends and family around things that we can't talk about here, but you can imagine what they might be. Um, and as well as we watch the Delta variant come through, it's starting to really impact more and more people who are um, either vaccinated or unvaccinated, and there's a whole story around that as well. So these are all things that we're talking about back at Peak Prosperity. The, the data, God, it pains me to say this as a scientist. There's data we're not allowed to talk about, which is just data. And that's the scientific method is, and it's a method. Science isn't a thing that's settled. Science is a method. What is it? Well, it's called observation followed by testing, right? You form a hypothesis, you get, gather some data, that data either helps strengthen that hypothesis or it causes it to, call, call it to be called into question or it refutes it, in which case you start over again and you keep iterating through that until you know something you didn't know before. And it begins with observations and we are not allowed by whoever these authoritarian censors are to begin the questioning process. And that's not science. That's religiosity. It's 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 uh, scientism. It's uh, but it's not science itself. And it's not how we learn or how we grow as a, as a people, as individuals, or as a species. Now, and here's why I care about this so much. If you know about me, you know that. Uh, well, maybe you don't know this about me. I, I started out as Nature Boy, and actually, this is one of the places I fell in love with as a boy. And I love what nature taught me and I love so much about it. And I can tell you that the number of insects here now around me is a fraction of what it was when I was growing up. And it can tell you that the level of ecological stress that we humans are now putting the earth through is really potentially very dangerous. Not potentially, it is. Let me just not soften that. Well, we're on a bad path. If we can't get something right is that as simple as the data that we've been talking about around COVID, around the things surrounding COVID, things which I can't talk about, the wizard bin. If we can't get that right, which is very simple, very concrete, very statistically provable sort of science, we're never going to have the opportunity to get this or larger conversation right, which is how do we begin to inhabit and re-inhabit this world in a whole new way? which is what we have to do as a species, right? That's, that's the conversation I care about at a high, high level. And to be able to talk about what's going on at a fairly reduced level, like the conversation I just had with David Gronoski, that if we, can't, if we are not allowed to have that conversation within our society, we do not live within a free society. We do not live within the society that we probably all learned about we lived in, in grade school, right? Things about freedom, freedom of assembly, freedom of speech, rights, not privileges, bill of rights, 
things like that. If we're not allowed to actually have conversations that are fundamentally free, because guess what? That's where we learn about what we know and what we don't know is when we begin to explore it and, and ask good questions around it. So if we can't do that, well, good luck figuring out what's what we're doing to this larger planet. Like we're not going to have that conversation. So that's why I found this conversation with David Gronowski so amazing. Again, great interviewer. Check his channels out. Give him lots of love and support. Good stuff. But if you want to see those videos, again, you have to come to Peak Prosperity. And that's the nature of the world we live in at this point in time. I hope this changes. I hope this changes. I really do. Because we're running out of time in this larger story that pertains to this larger world that you see behind me here today. All right. Well, that's all I have for you today. We'll have the conversation back over Peak Prosperity. Thank you so much for listening. And uh, we'll be back to my full video production schedule starting next week. Thanks a lot.